Welcome back to Real House DIY. Today we're talking about static shock and how to properly ground yourself when you're using power tools. So when you think of static shock, you're usually thinking it's middle of winter, very dry, you touch something metal and you get a little zap. And when you're talking about power tools such as a shop vac or a jackhammer, and you get static shock from those, you're gonna really feel it. It's gonna feel a lot like getting shocked by 120 volts. Now if you're using a shop vac, for example, the reason that's occurring get swirling dust in here and that builds up that static electricity. And in the case of the jackhammer you got the really fast motion combined with the concrete dust. Now we're going to feel with using these for static shocks it's going to be in your hands or your arms. In the shop vac it was when I was holding the tube got the static shocks right into my hands. It literally felt like getting shocked by 120 volts. The jackhammer for whatever reason I was feeling it up both of my arms. Now with the shop vac, this is all plastic stuff here, all plastic tube. The cord on this one is not grounded. Even if you did have a grounded cord, there's not much metal inside here that's going to connect to that's really going to help. You're going to be holding on to this plastic tube, the dust flying through here really fast. That's what's going to cause you that static shock. So your options, you can get a grounded cord. Some people attach a metal chain and have it dragged down on the ground. You can buy shop vacs that have proper grounding even all the way up the hose. But at least for me, it's not worth spending hundreds of dollars for a brand new shop vac when this one works perfectly fine. So what I do, if I'm vacuuming up anything that's really dusty like concrete dust, drywall dust, I'll empty this out very often. Then what I end up doing the one time was really bad. I just took a long length of a Romex with the ground. I attached one ground to a pipe on the side of my house that's grounded and the other end of the ground I just held in my hand right on the hose there. So that's proper grounding. Any static electricity is going to be dissipated right to that ground. Path of least resistance to the ground to the house versus the insulation of your body through down to insulated shoes to the ground. And that worked really well for the shop vac. Next on the jackhammer, I'm always wearing these anti-vibration gloves, a lot of insulation. So regardless of there being the ground on the cable on this one, so everything is grounded here, it's metal. However, you get plastic handles both here and here, insulated gloves. So if you get the fast mo motion of this along with tons of swirling concrete dust, then yeah, I can understand. You know, my hand might be ins well insulated from getting static shock there, but then the static shock I was getting was up my uncovered arms. So in that case, what you can do, you can keep the area working, keep try to keep the dust down. That means hosing it off now and then. What I ended up doing every few minutes, I just took a break, catch my breath, clean off my goggles, and then when the dust settled down again, I'd start up again. And that's what I end up doing to keep from getting the static shock when using the jackhammer. So that's all you have to do if you're working with power tools involving fast moving dust to keep from getting stack shock. Thanks for watching.